there was one conversation that I had that was blunt and to the point, and it kind of made me realize what I really needed to do and that I needed to change. I had a conversation with David Quinn, uh, my head coach in New York. He was after my second season. It was tough. Like I said, it was hard to you know, kind of wrap your head around that. But it was so good for me. Like he, he was so honest with me and can't thank him enough for that. Like from then I really started to key in on, on what I needed to do to be able to stay in the league and then to be able to be successful in the league after that. When I went to New York, they gave me every opportunity possible. It took me a bit to, to learn. But when I came to Vegas, as I was starting to get older and mature a little bit, I was really able to use that and to play my game. Probably been the best thing that's ever happened to me was, you know, coming here and get the getting the opportunity here. Yeah, do you mind letting us in the room there on that conversation? Like, what what did he what did he communicate with you? What did he tell you there? I needed to be harder and be harder to play against and be a guy that I can you know that he can rely on. And the cool thing is, is when he was telling me, it wasn't just him telling me just so I could do that for him. It was so that I could play in the league for a long time. He was looking out for me. He cares so much. He, he cares so much. You can see it when he coaches. I played for him for three years and for him to pull me aside, I know it probably wasn't easy for him, wasn't easy for me, but I feel like I owe a lot of credit to him for, for having that conversation with me.